when I go places, I'm always like, I need hot sauce and lemon. I need hot sauce and lemon. I, I do. I do. I'm not over exaggerating. I So we are back with another video. We are back with another video. I'm Diasha and we are in Orlando, Florida. And today we are trying Bronze Kingdom. So let's jump right into the video. concert i made it back from the the restaurant and i am sitting down and i'm ready to tell you guys about my experience at bronze kingdom so let's get into it so bronze kingdom has been on my list for a little minute now i saw it on tiktok a while back but it's always brunch on a sunday and my only issue with that is that I have to work on Sundays. And most times I'm driving back home on Sundays. So I don't really have the um, the time to get lit on a Sunday. So when I came for the concert, you guys probably by now have seen all the videos on the concert. Um, I decided that I wanted to do something before the concert because I had plenty of time and I'm like I'm in the city so let's you know maximize our time so we woke up early Saturday morning and we went to um, Bronze Kingdom my friend did find it um, on Eventbrite there was a um, a place for you just to reserve your spot it was free I reserved two of them and they really did check for those when we got out the door so don't think they just like it's free you could just get in no you had to reserve so we got there maybe around um 12 ish 12 30 ish it was raining on and off and i um i wore i wore this um beautiful i don't know if it's cheetah print leopard pants some type of animal print dress and it was like brown and black and i wore my clear heels that my mommy bought me and they were so comfortable and i also wore my gucci bag and I just had on some um, gold hips and I, gold hips, gold hoops. And I just um, wore some gold earrings, which I took out because it was hurting my ears. So I wore that and we um, we walked in and we were seated. We were seated um, in the middle and the DJ was to our left. And then it was like the DJ here, um, then a set of chairs and then like an aisle to walk down and then booths in the middle and then an aisle and then people on the um the right side so we were sitting slap dab in the middle so i ordered um fish and grits i know i know it was bright <laughs> 
Y'all know brunch is my new little obsession. I love, love, love to go to brunch. Especially like a brunch with music. I was in the vibe for that. So I went to um, Bronze Kingdom and we got the fish and grits. And I don't know what kind of fish it was. I'm going to show you guys a picture of it. And you guys can comment down below and tell me your guesses. But it tastes very, very not fishy. Like it's like... However they cooked it or however they prepared it, they made sure that you could not taste the fishiness in it. And it was fried to perfection. Mm. And then it was on a bed of creamy grits. Now, y'all know when I go places, I'm always like, I need hot sauce and lemon. I need hot sauce and lemon. I, I do. I do. I'm not over-exaggerating. I do need it. I do need it but I immediately got my food and I started eating it and when I tell y'all it was so good it was so good I didn't think about no salt I didn't think about no hot sauce I didn't think about no lemons I just started eating my food and it was so good they had cheese in the grits the grits had a nice flavor to it very very tasty it came out hot and fresh hot and fresh I like when I take a bite of my food, I'm like, <sighs> that's what I like. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you, that's what I like when I go to restaurants. I don't want you to, well, as soon as my fish come out the grease, put it on my plate, make it look pretty, and bring it back. Bring it to me. Bring it to Mama. So yeah, I got my um, fish and grits. It was really, really good. My friend ordered a waffle. She said it was light and fluffy. And she ordered also ordered bacon. And then she said her sausage, she said it didn't have no flavor to it. I was like, how you mess up a sausage? Nah. <laughs> but she was like, it could have been like a turkey sausage. She was like, I didn't ask for that. But my fish and grits, really, 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 really good. Now the vibe in there was pretty good it was like well technically it was like an r and b vibe y'all know i like r and b if you haven't guessed by now all the concerts i go to are usually like r and b so when i saw that on the flyer i was like yeah let's go for it but it also meant that it was like a slower vibe it wasn't like up and dancing joking and vibing dancing and bopping it wasn't that vibe it was more like a a good vibe but also Hmm. Tip. Okay, so if you go to brunch and you don't like to dance and you don't like to have a good time, don't be that person over in the corner judging people who do. Okay? Don't be that. Don't be Miss Judgy. Don't be Mr. Judgy. You shouldn't have came to a lit brunch spot, which you know gets lit. For you to sit in the quarter and judge. Okay. that's Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. That's all I had to say. Because I did see a few of those. And I was just like, uh. Now, I ain't going to be doing nothing that's horrible. But I am going to be dancing and I am going to be singing. And I am going to be having a good time. Yes. And that's what I came to brunch for. I came to give me a good vibe. And I came to get me a good meal. And let's just say Bruns Kingdom gave me both of those in one so the vibe was pretty good it was an art and b vibe so all that being said let's hop right into the rating so for portion i would give them a nine out of ten because i had a lot of food i don't even think i finished it all i was very full i was full all the way until i went to the concert i was full all the way until um i got back and filmed that mukbang for you guys for the um concert so I went to brunch around 12 and y'all will see that I was filming that at like 11 11 so it lasts for a long time and I didn't eat anything at the concert and then for presentation I gave them a 9.5 out of 10 they had a little parsley sprinkled over there they was a little heavy on the parsley but it did make it look pretty and I did get a good picture so that does count and then for customer service, I give them a 9 out of 10. At first, when we first came in, it did take us a while to get to our, um, for, to get our waitress. But once we told someone that we hadn't been 
that we hadn't been helped, we immediately, like, everybody started coming and taking our order, and we got our waitress. I think her name was, like, Maya, and she was very, very sweet. She actually had a really good memory, too, because I would just ask her for, like, I won't say random things. Like, for example, I needed um, a straw to go in my drink, and she didn't have any in her pouch. So, she was like, okay, give me a second. I'm going to take their order, and I'm going to bring you back a straw. And I was like, yeah, okay, in my mind, like, you go remember that straw. And she came back with that straw, just to show I did not have to remind her. And she came back promptly. I was like, okay, girl, do your thing. And she was very, very sweet. She was very quick, and she was very good at what she does. And they also had, um, they had bottomless mimosas. I didn't get bottomless mimosas. And they also had, um champagne bottles and they had people out with the sparklers and all of that thing they made it very grand so i did enjoy that aspect as well because people was having them a good time people were there for their birthday so that was a vibe as well and then for i gave you guys customer service nine out of ten presentation portion taste I would give them a 9 out of 10 because I really, really did enjoy my chicken and waffles. I did get a Sprite as well and I did get me some water as well. <laughs> so yeah, I've been balancing it out. So for overall, I would give them a 9 out of 10. I would for sure go back. I would like to make it on a Sunday because we were talking to some of the security guys and they were saying how on Sundays it's like really, really lit to the point that you have to get there early and the only place you can probably sit is at the bar and they're like, that's not even guaranteed because it's just that pack. And they say that is like typical day party brunch vibes. And we also um met the owner. She was very, very sweet. I think one of the owners was Miss T. I think that was her name she was a very nice lady she was walking around she was making sure we were okay the manager that was there as well he was um a male he was kind of dark skinned he had dreads and he would just come around and check the tables he was serving i was like that is good leadership like you see these people need help and you are out here helping instead of just sitting back barking orders like he was making sure that that restaurant was running smoothly so he came over and checked and was like y'all all right y'all got everything you needed and we was already good because i told you guys my was doing her job she had her table on the money on the money she had us right so we was having a good time so yeah i really enjoyed bronze kingdom i do plan on going back and if you guys do go, send me pictures, send me videos, show me what you got, show me if you had a good time. Y'all know I like to see y'all partying. And I saw y'all in the comments on my little video that I posted when my brother was mocking me. Y'all thought that was funny. Hey, y'all. <laughs> so when y'all saying it and y'all thinking it, feel free to send it to me because that really cracked me up because my brother he went out with my dad and my other brother they went to dinner and uh they sent back that video and i'm like it be your own family <laughs> it be your own family marking you so that was hilarious and i saw y'all in the comments and y'all thought that was funny too so that's going to be the end of this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will see you in another video. Bye. Make sure you come back next week. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.